Hello there, my name's Sam. This is Wrinkle Wrinkle Little Star, my little space on the internet where I celebrate being an older mom, where I try and rebrand the midlife crisis. I realised late in life that I was dealing with some trauma that I'd carried through my life and that had held me back a little bit. And now I want to address that. I want to find myself and I want to live authentically and happily. And this is my little space to kind of document that. Today, I am going to sort out my wardrobe. It's September. The weather is starting to change. It's still quite warm, but it is starting to get that kind of like nice autumnal, slightly colder in the morning. It's like sort of dew on the grass. Um, so it's time to start getting some jumpers out of hibernation. Probably putting away the really short shorts and that kind of thing. I will probably leave a few transitional pieces out because we are still having the odd hot day. And it does tend to be that it's quite cold in the morning and then it gets warmer as the day goes on. So as I sorted things out, I thought I'd show you how I do it, what I've got, how you can repurpose things year on year and you don't necessarily need to keep buying new stuff for your wardrobe, for your, your clothing collection. Um, I mean, I don't spend a lot on clothes. Um, I'm quite frugal and I think a lot of us will be doing that at the moment because of the cost of living crisis. Um, so yeah, I just thought that might be helpful for some people. I'll also be identifying some gaps that I do have in the wardrobe so that we can then try and find cost effective ways of filling those as well. So without further ado, I've got my coffee over there, I've got my wardrobe over there. Let's get cracking. The first thing I'm going to do is get everything out of the wardrobe and give the inside shell of the wardrobe a bit of a clean. Now that's pretty much empty, apart from that bag that I can't reach. I'm just gonna go and get the step stool so I can get that. There's my hanging rail. And as you can see, oh, the dreaded fluff. It's impossible not to get fluff in a wardrobe because after all, clothes are made from material and they just generate fluff and dust. So I'm going to go and get the cleaning equipment to sort that out. Hey. Right, now we're all clean. It's time to start sorting and putting stuff back in. Oh, you know when you start a job and then you're like, what have I done? One of those. Right, job numero, numero, numero is sort out my shoe racks. These are shoe racks from Ikea. They are brilliant. Before I had these, and um, I'll link the Ikea haul video below, before I had these, all my shoes were just piled up on top of each other and an absolute total mess. And these allow me to stack some underneath and some on top and they just make my wardrobe so much more organized. And they're like really cheap. They're about four pounds each. If is it four pounds for a pack of two? Possibly, they're really cheap anyway. And you can stack them on top of each other if you've got space too. Now to deal with the massive mound of clothes that are on the bed. Right, I'm gonna put the light on because it's kind of a bit dark. Okay. What I'm gonna do is look through the pile, uh, do a bit of a Marie Kondo, see if there's anything that doesn't spark joy. Um, if you have missed out on the Marie Kondo, kind of craze then she says you need to pick up every item look at it and go do you spark joy and if it doesn't then you need to thank it and then get rid of it um yeah it's a bit hippy dippy it's a bit crazy but for me it's a good way of like looking at things i didn't come from a rich background so i am a terrible hoarder because i always think i'll keep that just in case i can't afford anything better so I end up keeping tat, like stuff with holes in or stuff with deodorant marks on. I'm sure I'm not the only person that does that. So the Marie Kondo thing makes me go, deodorant mark does not spark joy, get rid of. So I'm going to go through and do that. I'm also going to have a look for anything that doesn't fit, anything I don't like anymore, that I've not worn for ages, um, anything that has got holes or, you know, is not any good. Um, and I'm also going to look for anything that is particularly summery and I'll put that in a separate pile and that will go somewhere else for the time being. So black jeans. These aren't my absolute favourites, I'll be honest. I bought these from Tesco a while back. They are quite tight. I've 
quite a bit of weight as uh, I've hit my 40s and I don't mind it actually, I don't mind it. Um, they are a little bit snug but for the minute I'm going to keep them because in the industry I work in it's kind of like a smart jeans and top kind of dress code so these work quite well for that. So they can go back in. What else have we got? Got one remaining pair of skinny jeans. Um, I actually think I've got two, but uh, these are just my everyday skinny jeans. They're a bit worse for wear, but they are so comfy. Again, they're from Tesco, um, and they're just good like if you're going to soft play with the kids. Uh, they've got a nice amount of stretch in them, um, and I don't really mind them getting trashed by kids' mucky, mucky handprints, so they're going back in two. I love this skirt. This skirt is from M & Co is not a shop I think to shop in very often and I've not worn it many times but I feel like I wore it actually in if you follow me on Instagram in my I want to be Carrie Bradshaw reel so have a look on Instagram if you've not seen that uh, but this I love it and I need a reason to wear it more often so invite me some places let's let's do drinks that's going back in because I love it and that's kind of works in different seasons right this maxi skirt had this for the longest time um this predates Elliot and he is now seven I actually was wearing this when I went to labour with him um I love it but it's very summery so that's going over there empty coat hangers going in that end of the wardrobe this dress is a strange one because I haven't worn it for ages and I keep putting it back in the wardrobe and then I take it out and go nah I can get rid of it I don't like it anymore and then I go, no, I want to put it back in. And then I don't wear it again. So I'm going to put it back in. But if I don't wear it this winter, because it does look good with leggings, um, then it's going. So remind me of that, please. The way I section my wardrobe is by type. So I'm putting all the bottoms together. So all the jeans and skirts. And then all the dresses together. All the tops and jumpers will go together. And then I've got separate drawers for more casual kind of around the house love this maxi dress this is from sainsbury's i think no dorothy perkins from dorothy perkins but it is pretty much a summer one so that will go into this pile my hamburglar dress that you've probably uh seen a million times on instagram still love that that's quite new it's going in my dress section this is like an oversized maxi dress i bought this for when i came out of hospital uh with both the boys but it's just comfy to kind of like put on like a sack you just feel like it's hot and you just want something loose but again it's very summery so that can come out this i've also had for ages i think i bought this um when elliot was a newborn um because i wanted something that was easy to throw on and it's anything with poppers if you've got young children is great because if you're doing like a messy play activity or kind of painting or you're weaning and they're getting food everywhere, you can literally undo the poppers, throw your outfit onto to the side, as long as you've got a t-shirt or vest underneath, and then this all gets a mess. But then if you need to look okay again, you can just put your dress back on. It's ideal. Um, I'm keeping that even though it's, it's not a fave fave, but it's one I can style in quite a few different ways. So let's put the pockets back in. Um, it's a good staple. And it's annoying me because the hangers are all the way around. Does anybody else like everything to face in the same direction? Or is it just me? It's still the wrong way around. What on earth's going on? This morning I was only thinking, I haven't worn anything with stars on for ages. I used to have a star print jumpsuit and I was out one day with the boys and been running around, got back home bit the crotch haven't realized while I've been out so that's nice and embarrassing um, and then I remembered not when I split the crotch I remembered this morning when I was thinking about star print that I've got this again I bought this the first Christmas well the only Christmas that I was pregnant with Elliot because anything with a waistband I just meant I couldn't eat any food it just dug in um I wasn't really showing or anything but I was paranoid that I was so I wanted something that was just loose fitting you know when you're early pregnancy and you're getting that kind of pregnancy bloat so it was just to kind of hide that a little bit i can't remember if family knew by that christmas or not but anyway so i'm gonna start wearing that again it shrunk a bit i think um but it was over leggings anyway so i think that's
that's going to be another staple for this season. My favourite jumpsuit, I've had this for years, it was as cheap as chips from Primark, bloody love it, but it is summery so I can go there. Uh, maxi dress, again, love it to pieces, quite old, was from new, no, Primark, but summery, so that can go to one side. Leopard print dress, again, love this, don't get the opportunity to wear it often enough, that's going to go back in the wardrobe, although if I don't wear it much soon, I might look to sell that because I really haven't worn it much and it was quite expensive. Shift dress, I've had this, I know I've said I've had this for the longest time, but this one I really have, I've had this since... Oh my gosh, 2007, something like that. It's Oasis, I think, yeah, Oasis. And it just is, it's like my interview or funeral dress. It's that little black dress that you just go to. And it is amazing, love it. Right, this is something that's not been out of the wardrobe for a while. Let's do it up so it doesn't fall off the hanger. And then I will show you what it is. And it's something I need to start getting out of the wardrobe. No, it's not a ball gown. My running jacket, I need to get back into running, but my ankle hurts at the moment, so that's not gonna happen. Smart kind of blazer jacket. Don't get much call for wearing that, but it's a handy wardrobe staple for when you do need that kind of thing for an interview or um, a posh business meeting or Christmas party or whatever. So that's gonna go back in. My gilet, I didn't wear this hardly at all last year, but uh, maybe I'll get some out of this year. There's a fat face from their um, business store, I think. No, it was from their Bridge End designer outlet store. It was a bag. I've got one of these Primark hoodies, and I love wearing this around the house because it's so cozy and comfy. And you can just throw it on in an evening. I definitely want to get a few more of those because they're really cheap, but they're really cosy and nice to wear. North Face Fleece, don't particularly like this, I'll be honest. Does it spark joy? No, not particularly. Is it warm and we're about to go into across the living crisis in terms of gas and electricity prices? Yes, it is, and yes, we are. So I'm keeping that to keep myself warm. Shorts, summer, and go. chino trousers because again I work in an industry that isn't massively formal so they're quite good for just casual head, off me head office meetings. Black trousers which again don't particularly spark joy but there's just certain occasions where they go you must wear a black trousers and a white shirt so it's always handy to have a pair. I would perhaps like to get a new pair of those actually I'll be honest. These jeans I bought them last year they do not spark joy they do not fit me properly I'm going to get rid of them. Bye. And then we've got these ones, which are like a mum fit jean. These ones are from Tesco as well. Quite like those ones. Not sure how much wear I'll get out of them in the winter because um, I like to roll them up and have turnips with them. But uh, certainly in the autumn, I think I'll get away with them. These are skinny ripped denim, which I thought I'd wear over the summer. But I think because it was quite hot, I didn't. I'm going to put those to one side. Sweatshirts and jumpers. Got my little French one. My sweatshirt of dreams from Primark. How 90s is that? I really loved that when I was a kid. Just one of the reasons I bought it. There's more than one way to indulge you in a child and one of them is to uh, buy clothes that you would have loved when you were a child. I'm not very keen on this, you know. I bought it not that long ago but it doesn't sit quite properly. But it's also just good for just shoving around the house so I'm going to keep it for the time being. This is more of a, this I've had for ages, but it's more of a summery kind of jumper, so that can go into storage. This is also a bit more summery. I don't think I've worn these all summer. And it's hard to know whether it's because I don't like them anymore or if it's because we just had a very hot summer. This little shrug with sequins on it's just good to throw on to make something a bit more formal or just keep it warm when you are somewhere formal you can go there after all we are coming into party season right this is a black cardigan and it has seen better days but i will need to get a new one before i get rid of it because 
it's just good to throw on when I'm doing a Teams call and I'm cold. So I'm going to use this video as a way of identifying what I need in my wardrobe. So that's going back in for the time being, but it does need replacing. Leopard print, because who doesn't love a bit of leopard print? Put that with black jeans and black t-shirt, instant outfit. I'd say this is more of a summery cardigan. It's kind of like a navy one, quite lightweight. That'll go in the summer pile. There's also a lightweight one with a coral number and go in the summer pile. This cardigan has definitely seen better days, but it kind of gives me kind of like grungy Olsen twins vibes if I put it over like a floral dress. Um, so I'm going to keep it because if the 90s is in, grunge is going to be the next fashion. And in fact, I think it's coming in because the DM Stock Martins with the floral designs and stuff are coming back on with Dipsy to back in with Dipsy prints. So I'm going to keep it that. This is something I normally wear as like a little cover up or as an alternative to a dressing gown in the summer. So that can go back into that pile. This cardigan doesn't feel quite on style anymore, but again, I don't have anything to directly replace it with at the moment. So I'm going to pop it back in for the time being, but I might look to get some new cardigans. Um, I've seen some really nice ones in Marks and Spencers, I think it was. So I might have to have a look. And this is the same sort of style. This one's a bit knackered. But I quite like this to just wear around the house when I'm cold. And again, cost of living, keeping it, mate. Keeping it. Same with this one. You probably see me wearing this a lot. It's past its best, but it's just comfy and cosy and I can throw it on with anything and it keeps me warm. I'd love to be all about fashion and style, but I am also about practicality. Love this one. This is from Primark quite recently. I actually can't wait to start wearing that again because I've missed it. And then we've got a load of naked hangers. Now I've got loads of what, what I would call when I used to work in retail, long sleeve leisure and short sleeve leisure. So I think I'm going to keep all this for the time being because you can put it under jumpers, you can layer it. But again, I think this is an area that I probably need to look at because I think some of it's seen better days. Now we're on to the vest and cami section. This is a cami I thought. Not last year, the year before, or maybe last year, not sure. I've only worn it about twice, but I do really like it. So again, buy me out of drinks. I get to wear it, who knows? And then I'm not sure this is ideal, but I've got all my vests just on this one hanger. And um, yeah, I just pull them off when I need to wear them to put underneath something generally. I'm just gonna have a sort out and see if any can go. On to these what I call blousy things. I love this one, it looks good with jeans, it looks good with more formal outfits. Bought this when I was breastfeeding because it was great to do like whoop, whoop, one up, one down. Um, this one I'm less this one I'm less keen on because I think it makes me look like I work in a bank. Not that there's anything wrong with working in a bank, but I don't. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit random. But on those rare occasions where I do need to dress up a bit more formal for work, it's quite a good go-to piece tucked into either black jeans or black trousers. So on that basis, I'm going to keep it. These two are a bit more summery. They're kind of like things to throw on over the top of vests. So I don't think I'll get much wear out of those in the autumn. And then this jumper, I've just gone off it, to be honest. I loved it when I bought it, but it's a bit snug now. So I might get rid of that one. I'm also going to get rid of this nasty Primark hanger. I prefer these nice velvet hangers that you can get from, well, everywhere now, Primark, TK Maxx, I think you get them in Wilkinson. Um, they're just nice and slim, so you can fit lots of stuff in your wardrobe. And um, also because they're velvet, they stop stuff sliding off. So those are my wardrobes. Those are my coat hangers of choice in my wardrobe. Um, and I try and get rid of any of the plasticky ones. Just found a random coat, put that in as well. I'm really conscious that there's still a lot to do and I need to go and do the school run in about 15 minutes. Underneath the bed down here, I've got my autumn winter clothes that I need to get out and have a look through, but I don't think I'm going to get to that today, which is a bit of a bummer because I hope to get to video live today, but it may have to be rescheduled for later on in September, maybe next week. You don't need to know that. Anyway, I need to get all the stuff that's out put back away rather than getting new stuff out because otherwise... Jake's going to come back from nursery and he's going to be wearing my high heels. Side note, I didn't even know I had these. I was looking for some high heeled shoes when I was filming that carry video for Instagram. Ooh, there's cobweb on them. And uh, 
couldn't find any and doing it with slippers and just trying to avoid filming my feet and then I bought these didn't even know I had them so what I'm going to try and do with my shoes is put anything that's kind of summery towards the back of my wardrobe and anything that's wintry towards the front it's not rocket science that will do from that perspective for the moment are the shoes i'd like to replace yes particularly those ones at the back that those ballet pumps i've tried to point but i'm holding the camera and i can't do both um they're a bit knackered they need to go really and i'd like some new funky trainers because my nikes are a bit knackered too but they're going in there for the time being because i need some shoes to wear almost there in terms of this initial sort out of this section like i say i'll have to do the video in sections i think um right let's see what we've got left on the bed these are my wedding shoes because you can't get rid of those for sentimental reasons so they live in the top of the wardrobe huge bag comes in handy sometimes probably put jake in there not really um i think i'm gonna use that to put in some of the bag that i don't use that often so this yellow one i don't use that often brown clutch I only tend to use when I'm going at ah, ah, which isn't very often okay you can see me now this is a bag that my nan gave me which I tend to use for formal occasions of which I don't get invited to many why this is, I, think the, I think the phone's sliding down this bag I use quite a lot this bag is kind of like a standby Bag for like children's stuff like if we're going somewhere we need activities to occupy them yeah that's it right let's get those in now it's time to sort this out these are some plastic drawers that i keep in the wardrobe with like underwear and socks in so i'm going to give those a clean and a bit of a sort out and then put them back in two of my wardrobe sort out extravaganza ready for autumn winter as you can see it already looks a lot tidier and a lot more autumnal and wintry than it did previously i ran out of time yesterday so i did have to dump a few bits on top I've got some cedar rings buttons put in soles shoe insoles um, a hood of a coat more cedar rings and a box because I use these boxes to divide little sections in the drawers. Obviously the IKEA drawer dividers are really good for that and I've got some of those in my drawers too but um, to save actually wasting these boxes and also to save having to buy more boxes I tend to use my children's shoe boxes. Won't be able to do that when their feet get bigger but for the moment it's a good top tip. It's also a corporate shirt from an exhibition I went to and I want to sort this out too, which is kind of like an overspill uh, back stock to use a um, um, home edit term, makeup bag. But first of all, I want to have a look through my drawers and see what I can get out of there. All of the summer stuff that I've taken out of here has gone into a big bag for life in the garage and it's kind of in a holding space at the moment. Um, obviously we still get some nice sunny days, some nice warm days in September and October so I'm not quite ready to put it all away in storage just yet so it's just going to stay there and I can pull items out of it if I need to but it frees up some space for some more woolly jumpers and cosies in my wardrobe. Without further ado and with a slight, slightly hurty ankle let's get all the stuff out of these drawers. There's only these two that have clothing in. This actually there's a bit in there as well so this one this one and this one these two are kind of like makeup 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 and cosmetics and things like that there we go that's what was in those drawers let's see what no longer sparks joy and what no longer fits and what has holes in it and what is no longer suitable for the season This is what I'm left with. 
one pile of things to go back away. One pile of swimwear that I'm unlikely to wear that much swimwear, but obviously we do take the boys swimming sometimes. Ooh, corporate wear that needs sorting out. And this is stuff that either is scruffy, no longer brings me joy, or just isn't suitable for the season. The clothes in these drawers are like my real cashy around the house kind of clothes. And although, you know, I don't feel the need to look perfect all the time around the house. I'm not on the Real Housewives of the West Midlands after all. Um, I could do with some more stuff to make me look half decent. Um, this jumper here is a relic. It's a fleece from when I worked at Next. And I worked at Next when I was doing my A-levels. I'll let you do the math on that. I did actually do an Instagram post about how old it was. So have a look on Instagram and you'll see how old it actually is. Uh, University of Wolverhampton, that's where I did my degree. I can't get rid of that because it's also a relic and it's also nice to have and it's lasted really well. This jumper's horrible. It's really misshapen and it's dingy as anything, but this is my winter gardening jumper. And uh, I find if you don't have something scruffy that you can do those jobs in, then you're kind of a bit buggered. Jogging bottoms. I've got rid of a few pairs of jogging bottoms because they are really misshapen. They're really threadbare. I think I wore them when I was pregnant. They've stretched the waistbands. And I've also found these nice ones in Primark that don't cost very much. So I'll probably get a few more of those to wear around the house. This is also ancient. I think this is from about 1998, 99. Um, and it's a children's England shirt. But I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. And these t-shirts, this one, is this one? Don't move the wash, it's got paint on it. Um, I've got some scruffy t-shirts because when I do painting with the kids, I don't want to ruin something that's nice. So I've got some scruffy ones. That's a scruffy one because I got dropped curry down the other night and it stained it. Uh, this is a scruffy one. This is becoming a scruffy one. This is my Real Madrid top from when I went to see them. Um, and it's not washing very well, but again, it is very old. So that's kind of around the house, getting towards scruffy. There's a scruffy one. Do other people just have scruffy stuff in their drawers just for when the kids are painting or doing messy plain stuff? This is from when we got married. It's my Mrs. Heathcock t-shirt. It's quite small, I don't wear it very often, but I actually can't bear to part with it because it just, Reminds me of our wedding day. My workout gear, which I do need to wear more often. I don't wear it often enough. I.e. I don't work out often enough. I had this for my birthday. If you know, you know. The Crows of Eyes Tree. The Croning. What's that from? Tell me in the comments. Uh, which one's that go in? That pile. And then some more workout gear, which again, I don't wear often enough because I don't work out often enough but I can't at the moment because my ankle's still blinking hurting. Right, I've also got rid of about eight pairs of black leggings that I'd had from Sainsbury's that I just kept wearing over and over again, even though the knees were threadbare and even though the black had kind of faded to a gray and I was like, no, I'm getting rid of you, just go away. So I've got a much more streamlined, casual wardrobe now. I've also got rid of a couple of hoodies as well that I think I'm gonna to have to replace, but again, I just don't like them. And I put them on because they're practical and they keep me warm, but they don't make me feel good. And I think it's a balance, isn't it? I am never gonna be one of those sorts of people that spends ridiculous amounts of money on designer clothes, but at the same time, I deserve clothes that make me feel good. And if I can afford to buy those, why aren't I? I'm only talking like Primark shoppers. Um, and I know some people can't even afford that at the moment because price hikes are so ridiculous and I've been there so don't feel like I'm being like oh I'm just gonna go and buy some new clothes I've been there that's why I've kept so much stuff because like when you can't afford stuff you have to keep things um but now it's time to say goodbye and it's time to introduce some new things into the wardrobe a little basket to put all my corporate clothes in 
and I'm going to try and hopefully fit that in the wardrobe somewhere. And then all of the stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of or saving for next summer is going to go in a little halfway house Ikea bag. What I was going to do next is sort out my pyjama drawer, but I kind of did a bit of a sort out of that last night while I was putting my washing away. So I got rid of any of the pyjamas that were like short and vest sets, any of the little nighties. And I know I've got some kind of like transitional autumnal pyjamas in there um, and I don't particularly like them but I think I need to see what I've got in my kind of winter stock before I get rid of anything because otherwise I shall probably have nothing at all. So I'm going to go under the bed and try and find the autumn winter clothes and I'm hoping this is going to be a nice surprise for me. I'm hoping that I open the Ziploc bag and I'm like oh my gosh this is like going on a shopping spree and I have so many new clothes to wear. Either that or I'm going to be like why did I keep this? Let's find out. Ta -da! Whoa! It's a bit dusty. Right, apart from an awful lot of dust, let's see what we've got. I'm not gonna lie, that was a tad disappointing. This is the keep pile, which looks really big, but that's because there's about three coats in it. And this is the get rid of pile. I think it's safe to say I definitely need some new pyjamas. <laughs> um, and um, I always like to look at things that are a bit disappointing as just an opportunity. So let's say it says a fantastic opportunity to do some come shop with me and to get some more clothes. cedar rings on my knitwear now these are supposed to keep moths away whether they do or not i don't know what normally happens with my knitwear is that the hangers get muddled up and these cedar rings normally end up on things like t-shirts and jeans that they're not really needed on plus none of my knitwear is really that expensive i don't think i have anything that's uh cashmere or anything like that but i've got them I use them. Last but not least, I'm going to sort out my pyjama drawer. I've already identified that that is an area that I am sadly lacking in decent clothes. Um, but let's just see what I've got at the moment. And um, yeah, I might just have to put up with them for a little bit. And that is a wrap for today, at least. Some of the stuff I'm going to sort out separately. So like little makeup bag of back stock there. I think I'll sort that out with my makeup drawers. It just makes more sense. And I've got a little um, makeup bag with nail polishes and stuff like that down there. I'm going to sort that out separately too. But this is what I've been left with. So I've got coats and jackets here, of which I have many. I definitely don't need to buy any more coats or jackets. Then it kind of goes into jumpers and hood. No, sorry, it goes into dresses first. It goes into dresses and then skirts and jeans. Then it goes into hoodies and jumpers and knitwear, sweatshirts, cardigans, then into long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops and like blousy type things. Down here we've got a basket full of work gear which is like branded work gear for trade shows. I've just put my orthopaedic um, insoles in there for the time being. Again I'll sort those out when I sort that out. Um, there's a bag with some tights in there which I'm not going to sort out. I'll just do that kind of as and when I come to wear them got my boots and my loafers at the top and my trainers at the front all my sandals are now pushed to the back these drawers are much more organized with underwear and socks to give you an example of how i use the children's shoe boxes you can see in there i've got all kind of like my full socks at the back and then my little trainer socks in a separate box at the front just to separate them it just makes it a lot this drawer is looking a little bit sparse so we've got workout gear and leggings and tops over there i might put my sports bras in there too that might make a bit more sense and then kind of like casual slash scruffy tops around the house are just there. And then I've got one pair of um, jogging bottoms just over there. And bottom drawer is very casual, like um, sweatshirts and fleeces. So my gardening one, just my casual 
mother one when everyone had those back in uh, 2015. Um, my fleece and my University Wolverhampton top. And then in here is a mis mishmash of pyjamas that I don't really like. But if I get rid of them all, I would have to sleep naked. I do like these ones, actually. These ones are quite new. So those are my favourites. But they're more for when it gets really cold at night. So they're too warm to wear at the moment. That's certainly been a good exercise for me to do. Like I say, I keep hold of clothes for way too long. Because to use kind of a manifesting phrase, I come from a place of lack sometimes. And that's not a good place to be. So I'm coming from a place of abundance right now. Um, if you'd have no idea what I'm on about, check out some books on manifesting. Um, I've done some reviews of some on my Instagram and also on my blog as well. So have a read of those um, reviews, find which book suits you the best and have a read because it sort of changes the way you think about things, makes you appreciate things and makes you have more self-worth for yourself too. It has made me identify some gaps in my wardrobe. So I definitely need some more winter knitwear, some cardigans, some hoodies, some more vests and t-shirts and long sleeve tops. Don't really need any more workwear. Could do with some more funky trainers maybe. Definitely don't need any more coats or jackets. Underwear, oh my gosh, I need to completely overhaul my underwear drawer. I'm not even going to show you what's in there. One, because it's a bit strange to show people on the internet your pants and bras. And two, because it's just embarrassing. Um, I think I've always been of the thought that, well, no one sees them, so it doesn't really matter. And plus, until recent, well, until a year and a bit ago, I was breastfeeding, so I was just like, I'm just going to make do with what I've got for the moment. Socks, I'm fine. Accessory bits, I'm fine. Things like leggings, I don't want to go back to wearing my Sainsbury's see-through, nothing at the knees, grey leggings, but I think I'd like to get some more sporty ones that I can wear for working out, but I can also wear when I'm running around after the boys or doing something around the house. Pyjamas, oh my gosh, do I need pyjamas? So yes, that's a definite necessity. I'd quite like to get some new swimwear because the stuff that I've got, um, I've got a nice bikini that's quite old, but then the swimwear that I've got, I bought not long after I'd had babies. So it was appropriate at the time, but now it feels really mumsy. But I do find, and I don't know if anyone else finds this, it's hard to find swimwear between letting it all hang out and mumsy. And I want something in between the two. So if you know anywhere I can get that kind of swimwear, please let me know. I'd also quite like a pair of flared jeans. When I was sorting out my wardrobe, I came across this, which I kind of have a love-hate relationship with. I bought it from M & Co. Um, could do with an iron, really. I bought it from Emiko a couple of years ago and um, it's one that kind of goes in the charity bag and then comes back out again. But I think if I teamed that with a pair of um, flare jeans, I think that would be like a really funky 70s vibe, which is quite like that. So uh, yeah, who wants to come shopping? Hope you've enjoyed my little autumn winter wardrobe sort out. Um, please do give it a thumbs up to like it. Please do subscribe and come back for more content. And hopefully I'll be speaking to you again soon. Bye.